Hey guys, so it's been a while since I uploaded a video, or was it like a week ago, I don't know, but um, I just haven't been feeling it, like not in the mood to upload a video. I mean, I'm not tired, I'm not drained, but I just, ever since I've been home, I'm just, I'm still all over the place, like I don't know what to feel, it just feels really, really weird. I can't explain it, but part of me feels like... I'm missing when Ava was still in my stomach. I want her to go back in my tummy. I don't know. As much as I want her to be out, I wish she was back in my tummy so I can like reminisce all those months that I was pregnant. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm starting to develop postpartum depression, which is really common. I already knew this is was going to be happening to me considering all the crap that I have gone through in my life. Um, oh gosh. Bessie just texted me. Losing my train of thought. So anyway, my Bessie texted me. I think she's trying to um, visit me and she's um, in the process of getting tickets. So if that is so, I'm super excited because nobody ever visits me from California. It's just not really much to do here and I don't blame them but oh my god if she really comes by that would like mean the whole world to me so yeah um so it's been like almost two weeks now Ava's um pretty much a week old already and a couple more days and she's a she's a good kid um she sleeps a lot and she wakes up like Around 3 o'clock in the morning, acts up a little bit and give her milk and she's calm again. Um, she likes being held and cuddled and the feeling of her in my womb again. That's what she likes, basically. Um, I've had her on the pack and play probably once, but besides that, she's on my bed or she's on the sofa. And don't worry, she's safe. I'm not going to strangle her. I'm not going to choke or fall on her and have her choke to death. It's just weird when you hear all those stories like, how does that happen to your, a child? And lately I've been like hearing all the stories about people giving birth and leaving the baby at a church. Burying them on the ground somewhere. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, accident happens. I'm like an example of it, but I just couldn't see myself dumping my child. I mean, there's a there's adoption. There's you could drop at the hospital. Don't bury the kid. That other chick left it at a church, but I'm like, why? It's just weird. I just cannot imagine myself doing that. You know, I'm adopted. My mother left me. That could be why. But um. Yeah, since having Ava, I still don't have that connection with her. I just feel so weird. Like, it's so surreal. I can't explain it. Like, it's weird. I just, I just don't know how else to describe this feeling. Like, I'm having so much trouble putting it into words. Um, yeah, I need to do, like, an update separate video. Um... And I also need to do my birth story. And what else? Oh, and Vlogmas. I'm thinking of doing Vlogmas. Um, just to keep me updated and just be part of the holidays. And that's what everyone does on YouTube. All those popular YouTubers. So I might as well do it too. I just don't think it'll be that interesting just because I won't be going out as much anyway. Um... Yeah, but would you guys like that? Yeah, it will just keep me busy and stuff to do besides the feeling of like, I'm a mommy, I'm a single mom, blah, blah, blah. Um, baby daddy stuff, I don't know if I mentioned. Um, he's just weird, yeah, and he... It's like you love him and you hate him. So like, you know, he's been messaging me this whole pregnancy throughout 
the day I gave birth to Ava and I sent him pictures, he was like, it's 100% Rin. Rin's my nickname. And I'm like, okay. And then like a week later, he checks up on me again, asks if I was okay, if everything's okay. And then um, I sent him the picture that they took professionally at the hospital, which by the way, if you guys are familiar with Mom365, freaking they tore something for okay pictures? Hell no. So I ended up um, taking a picture of it with our lovely iPhone. And there, saved me 200 bucks. But yeah, really? But anyway, um, I sent him those pictures and he was like, the second pic looks really, really sassy. I'll post those pictures up for you guys to look at too. It's really cute. Um... And he was like, yeah, her ears looks like his. He, he actually mentioned that. But, and that was it. And I was away actually when he messaged me. Um, and then he mentioned about he wants me to rest for at least two months and relax. And then he, he wants to do the matern paternity test for sure. And I'm like... I came back to my message and I responded back. And ever since then, nothing. He didn't even freaking respond. Texting me Happy Thanksgiving or to Ava. I actually did it in the morning. Um, Happy Thanksgiving from Ava and blah, blah, blah. Because he texts me every holiday, every single year. So it's like... So then I text him back maybe the next day. I think I say... I don't deserve this shit or something. And he still didn't respond. So it's like... I'm so tired of it. If I don't message him or anything and then he messaged me and then I don't answer and he gets to worry back and forth it's like effing annoying and I don't know why he if he wants to get this or with or he's denying it that Ava is his daughter then why would do you want to wait two months you would think you would want to get or with kind of like me like I don't have a reason to even want a paternity test like it's just it's his. I didn't have sex with anybody else during that time. I was with my ex a year ago before him and I got back together. And when him and my ex, him and my ex, when my ex and I broke up, we didn't even have sex that month. Like, his situation, there, there's barely any time for us to be intimate. That's, what can I, that's all. <gasps> yeah. And then it's like, since it's in my head, like, he doesn't think that it's his, but deep down I know he does. It's starting to make me feel like I'm crazy. Like, I'm questioning myself, like, is he the daddy? And I'm starting to think, like, what if someone, like, comes on the toilet or something, and then I sat on it, and it went to me, and then... That's how baby Ava was made. But it's impossible because once it hits the air, it's dead. But I think it happened. That's how crazy I am right now. Like, <sighs> But yeah, she, Ava has his ears. It's like the way I'm talking right now, like I should be more angry and frustrated. But it's like I'm so freaking nice. I think in a different situation, if he was a complete douchebag to the max, there would be major drama. Um, but again, I'm just too nice. I just don't understand him. I just don't understand men. He's a nice guy, but he can be an a-hole. And I just don't know what he's thinking right now. He just... I don't know. <sighs> Any of you guys ever been in this situation like nothing dramatic with your kid's dad or anything but just weird and when he finds out that it's his freaking daughter he pretty much wasted nine months of not being around me nine months of not having that experience wasn't wasn't there for her birth wasn't there for thanksgiving or christmas I, me I remember he made a comment a while back. Babies don't remember anything. It don't fucking matter. It's my memory. For her to remember. I just can say, Yeah, daddy was there when you were born. Yeah, daddy was there during the holidays. Even though we're not together, daddy was there. I can't say that to her. And it's gonna kill me. 
Yeah. And I'm confused about hair. I'm just curious. I've been Googling and stuff, and I have a lot of mixed friends, too. Um, so I'm Asian, Cambodian. Um, her dad is half black, half white. But he's light-skinned like me, but he's even whiter than me. Maybe his mom's side is strong. His mom's white. His dad is African-American. But um, I mentioned in the past, his dad left when he was born. And his sister looks like Native American, but it's the same father. He... His two kids are biracial as well. His ex baby mama, whatever, is white. His two kids, um, the boy, he's the youngest. He has, I guess, African American hair. But then his daughter had African American hair. But then I saw another picture because I'm such a stalker. It looks like. My hair. So I'm confused. Like, And a lot of my black friends were telling me maybe her mom put like a relaxer or something to make her look like her hair or my hair. I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah. So now I'm looking at Ava's hair. I don't see any curls or anything. It looks like mine. So I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> so like I care. It's just... I want to be able to know how to do her hair in the future, depending on what it's going to be like. But yeah, but I think all babies, when they come out, their hair is just like straight, no curls or anything. I don't know. I'm just retarded right now. Ignore me if I sound ignorant. Yeah. Because all my other cousins, um... They're half Asian, half black, and their hair is curly, so I don't know. Deep thoughts, you guys. Deep thoughts. <laughs> and then, like, looking at her, it's like... Everyone says she looks like me. But even me staring at her every single day, it's like I see it, and then I don't see it. It's like a weird feeling. I think this is part of that... I don't know to feel since giving birth. But her forehead is his because mine's flat and hers bulges out like her dad and the other two kids and her ears she got his ears he has almost similar as mine's but mine's more round but Ava's ears is the exact duplicate of his so yeah oh gosh so Lachmas yay or nay Alright guys, this is just some random vlog, so I haven't vlogged, so you'll see me talk for like 11 minutes here and then grocery shopping right before this. Peace!